When I think of True Woman 2008, when we saw and learned about this message and we wanted to take it to the Dominican Republic, it never dawned on us that this was something that's gonna go to all the nations. We never fathomed that. The Lord is doing a reformation in Latin America now. The message has not only expanded horizontally, covering many nations, but also many hearts, which is what we want. We want to go to the heart, that the kingdom gets big in their hearts. When I first heard Aviva Nuestros Corazones, the message was so biblical and so Christ-centered. It began to renew my mind and I have to share it. Because women like Mary are sharing Aviva Nuestros Corazones with their friends and families, this message is spreading faster than we could have dreamed. The daily radio program is heard on hundreds of stations across Latin America, the United States, and in Europe. And for the first time, Latin women have access to sound teaching on biblical womanhood anytime on avivanuestroscorazones.com. Hispanic women are very fast to want to engage with the message, teach the message. I started to pray for spiritual daughters, a new generation, and two young ladies uh, came to me and asked for a Bible study. I prayed to the Lord, what was I going to teach them? And he led me to the True Woman 101. Margarita translated True Woman 101 into Spanish. It is now one of the 2,000 resources that have been translated since the launch of Aviva Nuestros Corazones in 2011. When we started with Aviva Nuestros Corazones and God started to lift up all these women that embraced the message with certain kind of leadership in their churches and their communities, we started to call them ambassadors because we wanted to make sure that they knew that we were recognizing them and that we wanted to help them. We wanted to resource them in some ways that they could be able to impact their communities and churches. One of the ways that Aviva Nuestros Corazones has resourced ambassadors was by hosting the first international True Woman Conference, Mujer Verdadera, in the Dominican Republic. After Mujer Verdadera 15, the message just Bread like wildfire. There's followers and ambassadors and voices and groups and hotspots and people together to study a book. They have chat groups, they encourage one another. And in a surprising way, women from Latin America have been the link to spread the message of Revive Our Hearts to Europe. We are very much connected also with groups in Paris who are also connected to the outreach in, in French. And we have a lady from Guatemala, Yadira, who's an ambassador in Germany. Many women started writing to Aviva Nuestros Corazones and they were connected to me. And we added them to our group. And now we have um, a group of uh, women. Uh, we're praying for Europe, for a revival in Europe. We are just like looking at Latin America and what the Lord is doing and we, we want the same. It's a whole worldwide thing where we're all connected, praying for each other, and it's amazing what God can do with that. The movement is growing in 2017 with the second international True Woman Conference that will be held in Mexico. I'm so excited. I want to see the, the women in my church going there and listening to the message. I see this as a miracle from God that we are able to have a Mujer Verdadera 17 in Querétaro. He has taken our loaves and fish and has multiplied them in amazing ways. I'm very grateful, really, to God because of what He's doing. I mean, if we grow, it's the kingdom, God's kingdom that is growing through us.